Okay, I'm not going to waste a lot of time with the intro. I'm just going to get right on into it. We're going to throw up some uh, ease troughs on the south side, which is going to collect all my water. That's going to be for my irrigation for the food forest. So we're going to get started. I got 10 foot black, and that is so that when the winter comes, the uh, there's uh, it'll help out with the ice buildup. With the sun hitting it, it'll warm it up a lot quicker and melt quicker, so there's not as much stress on it. So let's just get it up there and uh, start putting it up and show you as I go. All right, because I'm not using uh, normal fascia, um, I'm actually gonna go into every rail that I have, which is actually 20 and a half inches to the center. So I had to preset these. I had to put them in first to, to, uh, to do it like this. So it's not like I can just put them anywhere. I have to kind of put them to, the, to where they are so that I can move them. But that's what we're gonna do. That's step two. We're gonna get over there and, uh, or three. That was step three, I guess, unless you count that with the end cap. But uh, let's go see if we can get it into the uh, into the greenhouse.
Okay, so I've got most of these up there. Of course, I had to go back to Rona and pick up a few pieces. Um, I'm gonna, I got shorted a little bit, so I'm gonna have to put in this last piece here. And that's what we're gonna be doing right now. We're gonna finish that up, maybe do a little bit of glass cutting. And then I'm also gonna pull the doors out and uh, try to flatten out some of this ground. So like I said, you can see how this is uh, low. I need to come up to at least that first ridge there. And I gotta fill this in before the winter because I need to get it to settle through the summer. I don't want upheaval, so that's what we're gonna be doing. And then flattening this out is kind of important because this is where all the totes are going. So to keep them level, have them up here would be nice. So as you can see, I've already started and I'm just gonna continue on with that. Uh, right now I'm gonna go on there and start the pump and get the, uh, the ponds a little low. So we're gonna fill her up because it has rain so we can get some stuff out of the, out of the creek or the runoff. left side now or excuse me the right side now I want to get some silicone in there we definitely don't want ice to build up behind it so be generous always wipe it off just too much and just uh, wipe it off with your finger smooth it in there a bit all done okay so I measured uh, my tote is roughly 40 inches wide. The center is exactly center for the port. So I want it to be at least half of that. So 20, 20 inches from the end to here so that my totes don't go past. So I'm just gonna take my marker, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna just, you know, make a, a half line or whatever. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna snip it out and then I'm gonna turn it over and put the flange down and that'll help me connect my downspout. All right, now that I got the uh, hole cut out, um, I'm going to put a generous uh, amount of silicone around the edge and then just press it down in. Now I made the hole just a little bit tight and a little snug, so she should go down nice and tight. All right, that's going to make it easier for me to put my downspout in. So it's all in there now, um, siliconed up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the seams here and just add a little silicone to each seam. And then uh, that's it for that, and we'll move on to the next job. Well, I pulled the doors out. Um, so much for them. They're pretty rotten. So I'm probably just going to steal the hardware, find out where to get replacement uh, wheels, because they're all seized up, and get some new wood and remake them. Now, it's not going to be a today project, but at least I know where I stand. Well, I was lucky enough to get my dad. Of course, it's uh, Father's Day yesterday. Happy Father's Day, Dad. And uh, he came out today to give me a hand with the uh, backhoe, pull out some of these stumps that were in the way so we can get better cutting the grass a little better without any uh, mishaps. Yeah, I just gotta go clean up the mess. <laughs> 